I'm just going to do an update for this week. So, Monday, I spent a whole day with a migraine. Not exactly surprising considering I was outside on Sunday for Easter. But, Sunday, I got to 44% in Strangers on Train. And that's between, like, driving to my mom's and then I drove home from my mom's later. I didn't listen to it on my way to my grandma's house for Easter. But, I got a 44%. I am enjoying this one. Not as much as the secret history, but like this is up there. Like I'm kind of say I'm going to say Strangers on a Train is definitely up there with like a smidge below secret history. That's what I'm going to say. And I got to chapter 52 in Crawdads. Um I'm gonna hope to finish it. That's what I did on Monday. I'm gonna hope to finish it on Tuesday night because it's really not that much more. It's like maybe 50 to 60 pages more. So I'm gonna hope to finish that one. And then I think I think we're gonna do the Institute next. So what I'm I'm kind of planning at the moment. I just finished my shower, but before I take my shower. I finished Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, I'm going to give it three stars. So it started out as a good, strong four star. I was with it for most of the book. Four stars. Um, the ending dropped it a whole star. Hated the ending. Saw it coming from a mile away. Dropped it a whole star. So it's three. Not, I would rate it lower if the whole book was like that. But like the last... Really, it's the last chapter, chapter and a half. It all went downhill. I didn't like it. One, because I saw the ending coming a mile away. Two, it did a stupid time jump thing. I hate books where, you know, it's wrapping up and they're like, hey, for the last chapter epilogue, let's skip 20, 30, 40 years into the future. Hate it. Absolutely despise it. No, this does not wrap it up nicely for me. I hate it. You you took a cheap way out of those ending. It really is a cheap way to end a book. So I did not like it. In other news, I am now at 61% in Strangers on a Train. I am enjoying its great murder book. Apparently I'm on a murder book train because there's murder in where the crawdads sing. We're just, we're on the murder train right now, I guess, where we're just going to read murder books. I feel like someone's probably going to die in the next book I read, because I'm going to pick up The Institute by Stephen King tomorrow, and when do you ever read a Stephen King book where someone doesn't die? Someone always dies in his books. But, that's enough ranting for tonight. I need to go to bed. It's past ten. And I have to work in the morning. So, good night. We'll do an update for Wednesday here. So I started Open Water by Caleb Nelson. I don't quite know how to say his middle name, so we're not going to say Asma. Uh, I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying it so far. We're only about a quarter of the way in, and it is a relatively short book, so I'm hoping to finish it here either Thursday night or early Friday. But the goal is also going to be to start the Institute here in the next few days, because that's a buddy read from March. So, I'm enjoying Open Water so far. We're still getting to know the characters yet, pretty much. It is a short book, but we're, like, starting to get a feel. I'm starting to get a feel for how it's going. And I, the only thing I'm not fond of, I'm not exactly sure I'm fond of the writing style. Like, the narration. I just... It feels like the narrator is removed, but it's, like, written in, like, first person with, like... I feel this or this is my thought but it like feels removed from the situation and I'm not sure how I feel about that otherwise we got to 81% in strangers on train and it's going well and I'm hoping to finish this on Friday I think because I'll only have a little bit and then I'll finish it while doing the laundry and cleaning and whatnot on Friday afternoon. Because I don't have to work Friday afternoon. So, that's all I have 
for Wednesday. Hopefully we get more reading on Thursday because Wednesday night I pretty much came home and I didn't do too much reading because I fell asleep on the couch. Which means I was really, really tired because I usually don't fall asleep on the couch. And I also forgot all the reading sprints that were happening and it was kind of upsetting that I like forgot that they were happening. So we'll hope Thursday is better. Updates for Thursday. My AC is running because we sit in a nice 85 degrees and we went from 40s slash 50s to 85 degrees and let me tell you, um, too much of a change but I need my blanket because the AC blows directly on me from my couch and that makes it cold but I can't turn it off because then it gets too hot so we're in a predicament. So we got my blanket. Anyways, for Thursday, we got to um, somewhere in the 90% for Strangers on Train, so we're getting very, 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 very close to the end. I am enjoying this book. Things are still happening, though. Open Water, we got to about 75% in, and I'm still feeling the same, where, like, I guess I, before I said first person, but, like, now it's, like, a, a, like a second person. They keep saying the word you. Before, I felt like it was saying I now, but now it's, like, saying you. A lot like you do this you and I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that like, I don't really like this point of view and then lastly I started this during my lunch break on Thursday and we got about four chapters in so not very far in a king book because we're only on like page 10 but this is going nice and I'm hoping to get through a lot of it over the weekend but I'm also hoping to finish Open Water on Friday nights. We're going to finish Strangers on a Train on Friday. And I want to get to The Ghost in the Wedding Pressure during Peace Talks for Obamathon because it's a short book. I have it sitting here on the table. Oh, it's just underneath the other books. That it, my book of the month that I haven't put away yet this month. This. It's a very short, shortish book. So I was hoping to get this, and then I was, and it, the print's fairly large in it too. So then I was hoping after this to get to Prophet of Yonwood and Diamond of Darkhold because those are also short books. And there is something on my hand. That's like ink. But that is all I have for now. And then we'll, we'll see what I get to on Friday during the uh, Ramathon sprints. We'll do a little Friday update before we move on with Saturday stuff. Oh, you're so marpy today. You're so marpy. I captured you, though. Anyways, on Friday, we finished Strangers on a Train. Four stars. Um, I really did like it. I wasn't completely expecting the ending, like, part of it there, so... Don't roll off and fall. You don't like that. She's so angry and so she's just gonna sit there and stare at me. Because she wants me to pet her. But you don't want me to pet you. You want me to pet, but you don't want me to pet. You want attention, but you don't want attention. Make it make sense. I also finished Open Water, which is a, another four star from me. The only thing I really have to complain about it is I don't like the point of view it's in. It's in second person, and I don't like all the you this, you that point of view type thing. Yes, hello Shelby. See, you want attention, but you don't want attention. What do you want from me today? And then I did start Prophet of Yonwood last night. Yes, hello Shelby. I only got six pages in them. So, before they started setting fireworks off and upset this one over here. And then we had to sit and cry all night because someone was setting off fireworks for God knows what reason. But that's pretty much all we did on Friday besides clean. So, that wraps that up. For Saturday here. I'm not done reading yet, but 
evening, nighttime sprints are just starting for Ramadan for peace talks. Earlier this morning on some sprints, I listened, well, I listened, I read a bit of the Institute and we're up to 34 pages. We're still really into the world building for this. There's not much has happened. AC is going to kick on predictably. And then when Ramathon Sprints for Kaylee started this afternoon, I picked up Prophet of Yonwood, which I only had six pages read last night. We're up to um, 94 pages now. So during Lexi's Sprints tonight, I'll continue reading this one. But I stopped to get myself a Papa John's pizza. Because I haven't had Papa John's since... Uh, been like 2019 probably because I got it when I was in college. I didn't get it my last semester in college. Actually, probably 2020. I didn't get it my last semester in college because I lived off campus. And I only went to campus for labs because it was during COVID. So, it's both the last time I had Papa John's pizza. But I know Ellie also like pizza, don't you? Mmm. So we're gonna eat some pizza. I'm gonna read more profit. And we'll go from there. Moved into the bedroom because it is getting late, but we finished Prophet of Yonwood. Um I'm only with this three stars, but it was it was okay. It was okay. But yeah, three stars for this one. And I was able to read this one for the Ramathon Peace Talks, which was well. And we still have a little, I mean, like, it's, it's going to go for a while yet. I mean, it's only Saturday night, so we have, a, we have quite a few. We have, like, a, most of tomorrow yet. So I'm going to start Diamond of Dark Cold, which is book four in this series. So it's about the same length, so I think it's feasible for me to do it in a day here again. Although, it just looks much better, but I don't know. I guess, like, when I hold them like this, this looks fatter, but when you put them side by side like this, they literally are the same. It just, I don't know. When I have them separate, it just looks like this one is fatter. So that's probably going to wrap up this vlog because it is after 11 here. Well, I'll probably just talk about this one on Sunday because admittedly I'm going to say I'm going to read it tonight and I'm probably going to pass out in the next 10 minutes. So that's all I have for this week. See ya!